Good day to you my fellow Ender Skeletons, I'm Kenator and welcome back to the channel. So you've just jumped into Starbase and found the market empty. There's no place to buy tools, parts or anything except for Endo armor. What the hell is going on here? Well wonder no more and let's dive into the new tech tree and crafting. Both crafting and the tech tree are brand new, even to those of us that were in closed alpha. Starbase now has progression and this is broken down in two ways. Firstly, access to parts is limited by the ores needed to build them, and the ship designer has full access to every part from the start to make your own designs in there. Ores are the only limiting factor. For crafting however, it's a completely different story, and it all starts with the tech tree. Hit K to open up your tech tree, and you will find three separate trees. The first is for general ship parts, the second is for tools and endo weapons, and the third is for station parts. There are four categories of research points that are used throughout the tree, and your current amount for each is located on the left hand side here. I call them parts, power, combat and mechanical. You get these points from crafting different objects from what you have available. Back in the first tech tree, the first point in this tree is the crafting bench. Hovering over it you will see this unlocks just one thing. This is unlocked for free, and your starting point for everything. After crafting what the tutorial has asked for in the easy build hall, you will have some points to spend. Now you can hover over further steps in the tree to see both the cost and what they unlock. You will find unlocking the crates is easy enough, but unlocking the thrusters will take electric research. Let's head over to the crafting menu and take a look as to what we can get to bump us up the amount we need. You can open the crafting menu with the H key, and here you'll have access to any of the modules you have unlocked, as well as any of the individual ship parts as well, through the expandable lists on the left hand side. Crafting things is as easy as clicking on a module or finding the ship part that you need, and this will appear on the right hand side in the crafting queue. Note that crafting can only be done while near a crafting bench in the easy build hall, or by one that you have made and dropped into the world and it can only use the resources you have in your station inventory. When you run out, you will need to go mine some more. Remember that very first crafting bench unlock you did? Well you can find this item at the very bottom of the list. Crafting one of these will net you a large amount of points in three different categories. Now while this is an expensive thing to build in terms of all cost as you can see, once you have one of these you won't need to come back to the easy build hall anymore to craft any items. You can drop this in front of you and start crafting where you are, as long as it's at the station. But for longer craft runs I recommend still using the one at the easy build hall. If you make more than one you can also sell these to the station for about 17 and a half thousand credits. So it's kind of a good way to both get credits and research points from your ore. Looking at the cargo crate now you can see you get a pretty good spread of research points. And you'll be wanting a lot more of these to help in the use of buying a new ship. And this is where crafting really helps. Using any pre-built components in a ship purchase reduces the ore and credit cost of that ship. So the more you craft, the more you unlock. And as a byproduct of that, your credits go just that little bit further when it comes to upgrading to bigger and bigger ships. Now you might be wondering which items would be more beneficial or optimal for each type of research point. Well for parts, this is the pilot chair, and this will get you 7 points for very very little ore. For electric, the main flight computer will get you a whopping 38 points per craft, and for mechanical, the thruster bodies are your best bet here. Sadly I haven't unlocked any of the items that give me combat points yet, so I can't tell you which would be the best to get here, as it's quite the ways down the parts tree. Now each of these does come with other research points as well, but if you're after a specific one and want to keep the cost of ore low, I would recommend going for these. As you go down the list you will see that it will take you some time before you unlock everything, as prices shoot up. You will be crafting a lot of things to fill out these three trees, but remember, nothing beats crafting the parts you actually need first. When crafting large amounts it can take quite a long time to work through your list, and it will keep going even if you leave the crafting bench, but only as long as you don't leave the station. For this I recommend playing the auction house, or earning a little bit extra more money in the job halls, or simply just having a bit of downtime to chat to your faction mates and help them out with any problems they might be having. Huge thanks for watching this video, I hope it explains some things for you. If you see someone in need of help please do send them over to this video, I want to help out as many people as possible. And if you found it useful also please leave me a comment, drop a like on the video, and please consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Genitor, out.